What if I told you that scientists around the world are racing to unlock the genetic code that could regrow your missing teeth? And it's not just happening in Japan. While everyone's talking about Japan's groundbreaking tooth regrowth drug, a global revolution in gene therapy is quietly unfolding in laboratories from Boston to Beijing. Today, we're diving deep into the cutting-edge world of dental gene therapy that could make dentures and implants completely obsolete. Stay with me until the end, because what's coming might be available sooner than you think. Welcome back to Medical Miracle. I'm your host, and today we're exploring one of the most exciting frontiers in regenerative medicine. You've probably heard about Japan's TRG035, the tooth regeneration drug that's making headlines worldwide. But here, as what most people do unt know. Gene therapy research for missing teeth is happening in at least seven countries right now, and some approaches might actually work faster than the Japanese method. In the next few minutes, I'll reveal how American researchers are using CRISPR to activate dormant tooth genes, why European scientists think they've found the master switch for tooth formation, and the surprising country that just grew a complete tooth in a human jaw using gene therapy. Let's get started. The science behind our teeth here is something fascinating. You actually have the genetic instructions to grow three sets of teeth in your lifetime. You used the first set as a baby, the second set as a child, but the third set, it's locked away in your DNA, waiting to be activated. Scientists call these instructions dental morphogenesis genes. The most important ones are PAX9 and MSX1, the architects that design where teeth should grow, BMP4 and WNT, the builders that actually construct the tooth trunks too, the contractor that creates the hard enamel coating the problem, after your adult teeth come in, these genes get switched off. Think of it like a factory that produced its final product and then shut down forever. The Japanese approach versus gene therapy now. Japan's approach with TRG035 works by blocking a protein called USAG1, which essentially removes the brakes on tooth growth. It's brilliant, but it's not technically gene therapy. True gene therapy goes deeper. Instead of just removing obstacles, it rewrites or reactivates the actual genetic code. It's the difference between removing a roadblock versus rebuilding the entire road. Researchers at Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania are using CRISPR technology to directly edit dental stem cells. In 2024, they successfully reactivated dormant tooth genes in mice, causing them to grow extra teeth. But here's where it gets exciting. They've identified a specific genetic sequence that, when activated, can trigger complete tooth formation in just nine weeks. Human trials are expected to begin in late 2026. The advantage? Precision. CRISPR allows scientists to target exactly which genes to turn on, potentially allowing you to choose what type of tooth to regrow, molar, incisor, or canine. Chinese researchers at Peking University have taken a different approach. They VE developed a gene therapy injection that delivers modified DNA directly into the jawbone, using a harmless virus as a carrier. In 2023, they successfully grew a small tooth in a human patient. The first documented case of gene therapy tooth regeneration in humans, the tooth was only partially formed, but it proved the concept works. China's advantage, they're moving fast. With less regulatory red tape, they could potentially bring gene therapy treatments to market before anyone else. Scientists at King S. College London made a breakthrough discovery in 2024. They identified what they call the odontogenic master gene, a single genetic switch that, when activated, triggers a cascade of tooth formation. Early trials in ferrets showed that activating this gene caused complete, fully functional teeth to grow in just 16 weeks. The teeth had proper enamel, dentin, and even nerve connections. European regulators are now fast-tracking this research. With human trials planned for 2027, Korean researchers are combining gene therapy with stem cell technology. They extract stem cells from your wisdom teeth, modify them genetically to enhance tooth growing capabilities, and then reimplant them where you need a new tooth. Initial results show a 73% success rate in growing tooth buds that eventually develop into functional teeth. The process takes about six months from extraction to full tooth formation. Gene therapy has several advantages over conventional tooth regeneration methods. Natural integration, because you're regrowing your own biological tooth. There's zero risk of rejection. No immune system problems, no allergic reactions, permanent solution. 
Unlike implants that might need replacement after 15 to 20 years, a genetically regrown tooth is your tooth. It should last your entire lifetime. Root structure. Gene therapy creates complete teeth with roots, nerves, and blood supply. This means a natural sensation. You'll feel hot, cold, and pressure, just like your original teeth. Bone health. Real tooth roots stimulate your jawbone, preventing the bone loss that happens with implants and dentures. Cost potential. Once perfected, gene therapy could be a single injection, costing a fraction of what surgical implants cost today. Gene therapy for teeth isn't without challenges. Precision control. Scientists need to ensure teeth grow in exactly the right place, at the right size, and with the right shape. Nobody wants a molar where their front tooth should be. Safety concerns. Any genetic modification requires extensive safety testing. We need to be absolutely certain there are no long-term side effects. Regulatory approval. In the U.S. and Europe, gene therapies face rigorous approval processes that can take 10 to 15 years. Cost of development. Gene therapy research is expensive. It requires sustained funding and investment. Realistic timeline. Here's what experts predict. 2026 to 2027. First human clinical trials in China and South Korea. 202-82030, expanded trials in Europe and the United States. 2032 to 2035, possible approval for public use in early adopter countries. 203-52040, widespread availability in developed nations. So while Japan's tooth regrowth drug is grabbing headlines and rightfully so, the global gene therapy race is heating up fast. We're living in a golden age of dental regeneration. Within the next decade, losing a tooth might be no more permanent than getting a cut that heals. If you're missing teeth right now, you have options. Wait for these breakthrough treatments if you can consider temporary solutions like implants or bridges. Maintain your existing teeth better than ever because your natural teeth are still the gold standard, remember. The first smartphone was considered science fiction until suddenly everyone had one. Tooth regeneration is following the same path. If you found this video valuable, smash that like button and subscribe to Medical Miracle for the latest updates on regenerative medicine. Hit the notification bell so you do you and miss our next video on the shocking results from Japan's Phase 2 trials. Drop a comment below. Would you try gene therapy to regrow your teeth or would you stick with traditional implants? I read every comment and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and remember, the future of medicine is happening right now. Don't miss it.